Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch and Carry. So in today's episode, we're going to be uh, cleaning up these grip tapes, which are a little bit dirty here, and we're going to be using this uh, special uh, grip tape uh, grip tape cleaner uh, that I picked up from Amazon. So here's the info if you guys want to know what it is. This one costs about eight bucks, and the brand name there is Black Diamond BD Grip Cleaner Skateboard Grip Tape Cleaner. I think um, One Wheel does sell something pretty similar, um, which comes with, I think, like a handle on one side and then a smaller um, grip tape cleaner on the other side. So this one does not come with a handle. This is the package you'll be getting in the mail. Okay. And a little info on what it does exactly. So it removes... Uh, dirt and debris from grip tape tells you what to do here. So what you're going to do is rub the diamond dirt remover across the grip tape in long, firm strokes. Okay, don't use for hardcore debris. And then it says here, um, it is soft when warm and hard when cold, but still works the same. So either way, hard or cold, um, or hard or soft, you can, you can use this either way. Okay. And some more info here works pretty quick and improves grip tape traction. Okay. So let's take a look at what this is. It almost looks like a big block of honey or a honeycomb. Okay, and so you can see here my grip tape is a little bit dirty. I tried to clean this off as best as I could with a small towel and there's still some residual left. And of course, you know, the problem with having dirt there is you're going to be um, decreasing your friction and, um, you know, increasing the chance of you slipping. So we're going to try to clean that off. We're going to do nice long strokes as the instructions said. Okay, so we'll start from the top. Let's try it flat. Okay, so I'm finding it a little bit easier to be rubbing it on the um, on the edge compared to zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm finding it easier to drag the edge on here rather than putting it flat. Flat seems to be a little bit harder uh, for me to do. So let's try this on the edge here. It seems to be working pretty well. Let me see if I can go back and forth. Okay, so it looks like one direction definitely is the best. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do this in one direction here. And then let's try it in the other direction now. So it looks like after a while you start to get a little build up here. Okay, and these stuff just kind of breaks off. And I like doing this over this bucket that you can see here because then I can just put the debris in the bottom. Let's try to uh, reverse the direction here. So we'll do this coming from a different angle.
Okay, so it looks, I think, a little bit better. You can kind of see that more of that debris is coming off there. And then here's kind of how it looked before, you know, pretty sandy. So I would say it definitely requires, you know, quite a bit of elbow grease to do this. It helps to do it in one direction, it looks like first, moving across the pad and then come back in the opposite direction. Okay, so that's kind of how the cleaner looks after cleaning one side that was pretty dirty. I think it did a pretty good job. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here because the next side, which is about the same level of dirtiness, I'm going to actually soak this in warm water. Oh, actually, it doesn't mention anything about soaking it in water. I thought it said warm water, but it looks like it's just soft when warm and hard when cold. So it's really just to do with the, you know, environmental temperature. So right now it's a pretty cold day here in Vegas. We're now in winter, so I'm not going to change it. I'll just keep the video going. And I think I got the technique down. So what I'd like to do now is go this way and then go this way and then this way and then this way. Okay, so alternating my orientation, 90 degrees. Okay, so let's try it again. So let's repeat that same pattern once again.
Okay, what I'm doing here, the pressure I'm applying is pretty firm, so, you know, I would say just enough to put the weight of your arm on the, uh, on the cleaner would be enough. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. One more pass. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, a lot better. And I should have commented before, you know, before it felt grippy still, but you know, definitely a little bit more loose with my fingers. But now, you know, after using this um, grit diamond dirt remover, uh, the grip definitely is back. So um, second time around, the second pad, you could see it was a lot easier for me. So I, again, I recommend going here to here all the way across and then reverse your orientation here to here and what that seems to do is it seems to kind of spread the dirt it makes it look worse initially but I think what it's doing is it's bringing up that dirt more to the surface more on the top of the grit and then as you come in for the third pass you go from here to here all the way across and then reverse direction here and you can see that after that second pass going in that new direction, it really seemed to pick up what was brought to the surface and really made that, you know, that, um, that grip tape kind of sparkle and get back its, uh, its luster and its grip. So good. I, I, I recommend it. Uh, you know, whether this is better than the one from one wheel, I'm really not sure. Is this really hard to hold? No, I think this is pretty easy. I do kind of like that it's one big block. The one from one wheel looks smaller. I would say it looks about like this big. And for me, it's just more ergonomic to have something with my bigger hands that I can put not only in my fingers, but something that will go into my palm as well as I'm dragging across. Because as I mentioned, it does help to apply, you know, quite a good amount of force, like your whole arm weight as you're moving this unit across. So again, that is the Black Diamond uh, BD Grip Cleaner for skateboards, but also for your one wheels, uh, about $7.95 on Amazon. All right, guys, have a nice day.